The Olympic flame has been lit and it now heads on to Paris. Tomorrow, we are just 100 days out from the opening ceremony of the Paris Olympics, which means that we are inching closer and closer to that official announcement, the 2034 Games returning to Utah. It was just a few days ago, the IOC wrapped up their tour of Utah visiting our Olympic venues. Yeah, we've seen those venues are amazing and ready to host another Games. But perhaps the IOC should have also visited one of our local middle schools in Sandy to see our passion for the yep. Games. New specialist Shara Park explains. When you're in middle school, you learn all kinds of things, science, math. But when you're in Miss Shaw's class here at Indian Hills Middle School, you also get a 2002 Winter Olympic education. All right, come on in, guys. In room 215, you'll find Amy Shaw's Utah Studies class. All right, take a seat, everybody. Get your starters out. You'll also find a passion for the 2002 Winter Olympics. And get your Olympic packets out. Being here in Utah during the 2002 Olympics, I was alive. I was here. I was a young kid, so I don't remember a lot, but I was a part of it. For two weeks, Shaw puts her love of the games on display as she teaches about the impact they had on Utah. And that display is impressive. The kids have joked that I need to open my own museum. From an official torch to Olympic clothing and mascots, Shaw has spent years building her collection. Collecting is a huge part of the Olympics. But if there was one thing the students really love learning about. The most popular one that everybody had to have. It's the pins. It is the green jello pin. Oh, I really like the jello. I liked this jello actually, this one, the circle. As part of Shaw's curriculum, each student is creating a plan to host Utah's next Olympic Games. From designing pins. I have an I-15 pin, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I have a Stanley mug pin. To creating a logo and mascots. Even in like, what's it called, the logo, there's just like so much symbolism that goes into it that like you wouldn't think about. These students love how Miss Shaw is teaching about this important moment in Utah history. It makes me like excited for the future Olympics and uh, I appreciate like how much work was actually like put into all of this stuff. I think it gets the kids more engaged, more involved. They get excited. They're like, oh, this was real. I can touch it. I can see it. It's not just words that I'm hearing. And in turn, she's excited about the role they may play in the next one. Oh my gosh, I love the, their gold. It's a moment for this Utah Studies teacher to light the fire within and to keep that fire burning. They're going to be a part of this next Olympic Games. They're going to be alive. They're going to go to the events. They might volunteer. So it's kind of cool to just be like, the whole world is watching this event, and I was part of it. Ms. Shaw is so excited about the potential announcement for the 2034 Games in Salt Lake City this summer. She says she can't wait to celebrate with her students. Shara Park, KSL 5 News. So cool. Shara, thank you.